Thanks for everything. Here he is at the very beginning of his career in federal politics. On a cold February night in 1995, the votes have been counted and Maril Belanger is the newly elected Liberal MP for Ottawa Vanier. Thank you. Hey. Thank you very much. Well done. Well done. I will do my best to serve faithfully. He will go on to represent the riding for more than two decades, re-elected eight times, and throughout it all a tireless champion of the rights of Francophones in the region. As a member of Parliament, Boulanger held a number of positions, including minister responsible for official languages. He served as parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Heritage, as well as deputy leader of the government and chief government whip. This initiative will give young French Canadians who wish to do so the possibility to pursue a career in the medical field. One of Boulanger's proudest achievements was fighting a winning battle to keep the doors of the Montfort Hospital open when the provincial Conservative government was determined to close the French language health facility. Humble and self-effacing, he worked diligently for his constituents. <coughs> But his causes extended beyond borders. As co-founder of the Canada-Africa Parliamentary Association, Boulanger saw an ongoing role for Canadians in the development of community projects in Africa. My name is Maurice Belanger. I'm a Liberal and I will never stop working for the people of Ottawa Bank. After Justin Trudeau's Liberals swept into power in the 2015 federal election, Belanger was considered a front-runner for the role of Speaker of the House, a job he had long dreamed of filling. But it was not to be. Belanger withdrew from consideration after being diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. The disease, cruel and unrelenting, has no cure. It shuts down the body's muscles. It was devastating news for his family and colleagues. Still, Belanger came to work, using a digital voice generator to communicate with staff and MPs. Mr. Speaker, it is an honor to introduce a bill entitled an act to amend the national anthem Gender neutral. He found time to introduce a bill in the House of Commons to remove a gender-specific phrase in the national anthem. Mr. Speaker, it is 2016. Then, in a token of respect and love, MPs voted to give Boulanger his day in the chair. As Boulanger slowly made his way through the corridor of Parliament, on his way to assuming the position of Speaker of the House, his colleagues, his Prime Minister and his wife Catherine joined in a moving emotional tribute to a man whose service to his public was ending far too soon. Sandra Abma, CBC News, Ottawa.